Okay, hey guys. So it has been a crazy week, a crazy day. I was supposed to have my hair cut today. I went to the hairdressers and it turns out they forgot my appointment so she wasn't even there. Uh, there wasn't any water in the hair place so I couldn't even get like an appointment with another hairdresser. It was a whole thing so I d drove all that way for nothing. I'm tired, it's hot as hell. I am doing a coffee detox, so I haven't had a coffee for a week now, so I'm feeling it. So if I feel a little bit rough, I'm sorry for that. If I forget things, I'm sorry for that too. It's just, mm, I'm going through one of those times when everything is just like too much. <laughs> but we are here today nonetheless. Um, we are closing out the budget for the last week of May. I am in technically a rush i have a stand-up comedy show to get to this evening so i have to get ready i also have to work out i am going to another city tomorrow for a like a trip uh which is like three and a half hours away and it's just for a day and it's, oh, it's so crazy i'm so sorry i wanted to film a weekly vlog this vlog but i realized it's gonna be too much on top of everything for me to remember to film and then edit everything so i'm gonna be back soon after my trip i'm also leaving on a trip next week so ugh, i have to do this today so you keep me accountable and i love you all for that so let's start with the expenses um we overspend a little on groceries uh 53 14 in groceries 870 in spending 55 76 in dine out 55 50 in health and 230 in beauty because i got my brows finally i got them done um in total that was 403 euros and 10 cents finally got my brows done i have a correction in mid-july and uh, i hope it's gonna be all for the next uh, four or five years that's how usually it lasts for me let's flip through the weekly budget and we can see what we can do here okay so 650 and 13 of the rollover so in total we worked with 663 uh groceries so we did actually spend oh i think i had my cheat sheet here i'm sorry once again i said i'm not prepared um i have my ipad here i'm trying to open my the file that i take notes for my budget uh did i take any notes I did take yes okay I did perfect so 53 actually in groceries but as we spent less in spending and dine out it kind of evened out so I didn't overspend in general so 10 in spending and 55 in dine out so we should have some rollover in here um my head hurts so bad crazy so we have eight euros rollover in spending and one two three four rollover in dine out so 12 so that was eight actually here because we put the ones that we so it makes sense so the ones that we overspend in groceries we took out of spending to make it even and dine out had four so that was 56 actually I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I'm just all over the place today. But 50 went in rent, 25 in utilities, 5 in miscellaneous, and 45 in one month ahead. It's also been over like 27 degrees like the past week and a half. So I'm dying. I don't have AC in my apartment. So 242 in total. So I'm a little all over the place as i said i just hope you forgive me for that happens to the rest the best of us so beauty got 50 birthdays christmas and clothing each got a 10 health got a 50 subscriptions 5 and 15 travel so that was 185 421 minus 185 236 so 236 we moved to uh, long-term sinking funds babies got five and car got five deposit got 50 beds got 20 retirement 40 technology and winnings five so that was 130 and 230 minus 130 is 236 minus 130 is 106 perfect and we flip to here and 106 so we can see that we stuffed 
93 which was that and we should have five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so if we did everything correctly 93 plus 12 is 105 okay so i'm missing a euro uh why am i missing a euro oh my god i don't need this today why am i missing a euro should probably 55 here if we do that uh two six six eight three two four one is yeah no okay honestly i'm just gonna write 105 and i'm gonna find where the one euro went it's not like it's 10 euros so i don't really care that much um uh, so I'm gonna move all of this money to our savings challenge. We're gonna stuff it with our next cash stuffing But that was all for May. That was all for the closeout week I'm gonna flip through the June and I'm gonna set up first week of June, but the next video I'm filming is going to be the um, uh, Monthly closeout and then the cash stuffing because I like to close out my budget before I stuff uh, new money in there so this is June I'm going on a trip from the 7th till the 10th, so I'm gonna film a little travel vlog there. I have a dermatologist appointment on the 5th, well, 4th. We did move my hairdresser to the 5th, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make it. I have a facial, I have a dentist, I have a lot of birthdays in June, my mom's birthday, and we have uh, the summer solstice um, three-day weekend. It's going to be a huge thing in Latvia. We celebrate it very much, so I'm gonna have, probably have to find some plans there, but I'll go keep you updated on that but let's quickly flip through the first week it's going to be the week of the first of june yes first of june is tomorrow crazy how time flies um we have a rollover of five six seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve so 12 euros of rollover i'm gonna add that um so well, for June, we do have a little less money to work with because I did quit my big job <laughs> in um, January. So I need to kind of spread my budget a little bit before I find, find a new full-time job. So we have only 350 euros to work with. And how much do you have? 12 here. So in total, that's 362. It's still okay. Like 350 a week is okay, but it's just a big drop from what I usually did. Um, but it, um, it just shows that budgets change. Budgets need to adapt and I need to adapt and I have to prioritize once again where I want to put my money so it's gonna it's just gonna be another challenge in the way I'm sorry I'm just gonna take a little sip of water because mm, it feels like I can't even speak properly crazy what coffee lack of coffee does to you and uh, before you ask I did a detox I'm doing the detox of like coffee and other uh, usually allergenic foods because my skin has been acting up and my dermatologist uh, suggested it. She also said, of course, it can be like facial creams or stress or whatever, but she said usually the first thing she does is try to recommend excluding certain types of food. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so groceries, let's start, is going to get 50, spending 20 and dine out 50. So I'm going to spend a little less on dine out hopefully this week. Gas is going to get five. I do have the road trip to go to tomorrow. So I'm probably going to need to fill a, uh, uh, the to full tank of gas. Couldn't remember the name full. Utilities is going to get 25. Miscellaneous five and one month ahead 50 so in total cash envelopes and bills is going to get 205 so 362 minus 205 is 157 we are bringing that here to short-term sinking funds so beauty is going to get 10 uh, birthdays and Christmas also I'm not putting anything in clothing this week. I'm just prioritizing different things. Health is getting 10, subscriptions is getting five and travel 15. I would have liked to put more in travel, but that's what I have to work with this week. In total, that's 60 for short-term sinking funds. So we have 97 left over. Long-term sinking funds, we are putting five into car, 25 in deposit. Uh, 10 in pets and 20 in retirement, which is 6% of our income. 
and that's all we're doing for short uh, long-term sinking funds so that's 60 as well so 97 minus 60 is 37 so 37 here and we are putting 25 plus the 12 from rollover so that is 25 plus 12 is indeed 37 so that's all we have here which means we have zero euros left to budget so that's the budget for the first week of june once again a smaller budget a new month a new budget so it would allow us to make some changes and it's just going to be also going a little bit less into savings challenges but i hope you're gonna stick with me through it and you're not only here for the big huge cash stuffings that i have done in the past and i hope you stay um a while and uh, work with me also through the tougher times um but yes for today's video that's all i'm gonna be tomorrow back tomorrow with a main monthly closeout we're gonna count all of the sinking funds we're gonna up color in our trackers we're gonna do all of that good things uh, also calculate all of the expenses for uh the past month and yeah i hope you decide to watch that video i'm gonna be back then the day after that's monday probably with a cash stuffing i will do a the savings challenge cash stuffing in the same cash stuffing because it's just gonna be a smaller amount um so yeah let me know if you want me to split the cash stuffing and savings challenges into two different videos or do it in one um but i think that was all for the updates as usual if you have any comments suggestions or just concerns or questions just put them down below i'll be happy to get back to you and yeah i'm gonna stop talking now and let's get on with the day so have a great day monday monday <laughs> oh have a great day evening morning wherever you are and i hope to see you in the next video bye